Here we go. Artrag. Arm drag. Uh-oh, Yujiro Takahashi doesn't want nothing to do with no arm drags. <laughs> How about a chop to the test? Yes. We always remarked about who Young Lion Uemura reminded us of. And Fujinami, of course, got a lot of votes. Oh, Ricky yeah. Steamboat got some votes. Yeah, and it was that arm drag that got those cover. Ricky Steamboat comparisons. But fire and determination in the eyes. RH Pure Champion Katsuyo Shibata was once asked about Uemura and Narita. Uh oh, wait a minute. Whoa, no, oh, no. Rough landing, rough landing. And now they'll start to turn on Uemura. Shibata once said, Narita is the moon and Yu Uemura is the sun. And well, it looks like cloudy days for Yu Uemura right now. Watch the Fisherman Buster. That was on the neck. And a cover from the opportunistic cockroach. And a kick out at two. When you come back from excursion, fans celebrate. But the rest of the locker room takes notice. And a bullseye is drawn on you. Hold on, the wrench is distracting the referee. Uh, now the walking stick. Taka trying to make a difference. This is, this is the, whoa, wait a second. I was going to say, this is the kind of play that might cost Sonata in our main event. There, here comes Doki. There's still a walking stick in the ring. Doki puts the brakes on. Double yes. Watch out, Jace was, oh! Chase was ready to lower the boom, and Tangaloa was ready for Chase. Chase saw it coming, Tangaloa rather saw it coming definitely. There was a lot of doubt whether T could compete in our elimination main event last week, did so, and yeah, well there you go. Immediately going to that arm, you and see the wrap on that elbow, hyperextended elbow. He was eliminated by Chase, and then afterwards the OJK was applied to Tangaloa, was completely choked out, had to be carried away, couldn't leave on his own power, could Tangaloa. But C spent most of the G1, Kevin, trying to put a brave pace on an injury. Oh, oh. well, this one's going to end in less than a minute. Chase Owen's able to kick out and will retreat. Yeah, it was a knee going all the way back to May of 22 when he first injured it, had to have surgery. Doctors told him his wrestling career was over. His knee was that bad. 619 got hung uh, up. No. You see, knee injuries can be in that knee, that face still not enough to hit the 619, especially when you need your left arm to help swing you over. Watch out for the drop kick between the ropes, and down goes Tangaloa. Hit right on that left elbow as well as he did so. So Chase Owens looking to attack T before the bell. Tangaloa was ready for it. And this match got off to a very fast start here. Match number two in Ria Goku. Here's a cover and a kick out. We've seen how the injuries, they can seem light and then turn into something a good deal longer. We saw oh, oh, man. That might be the most dangerous man of all in the United Empire is Hanare. Eddie Kingston's going to find out. Kingston's been dealing with the back issue. His body hasn't been right since the G1. I mean, Eddie Kingston's permanently held together by goodwill True. and bubble cup. And an awful lot of fighting spirit. Can't wait to see that six-man tag Saturday night. It will be Hanari, Jeff Cobb, TJP will be returning and will be taking on Kingston, Tanahashi, and Michael Oku, the undisputed British heavyweight champion. My God. Standing boots all pressed and two and no. Bushi was able to kick out. A very colorful Bushi mask, tights, and whatnot. He's seen colors though after Cobb just splashed him. Oh, and that, in
in the throat. Now Bushi launched across the ring. Cobb having his way with the junior heavyweight Bushi. Are you gonna have a count Bushi out? Uh, maybe not, we can count him out. Just set him down gently. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, crashing into the corner pad. That's why I said Kevin E can never count Bushi out. In the right direction towards the tag, gets the tag. Here comes Shingo Takagi. Uh, these guys know each other well. A never open weight championship battle a couple of years ago at Wrestle Kingdom. Oh, watch out. The great O'Conn and Callum Newman in on behalf of Jeff Cobb. Reverse. Pop up. No! Watch out. Watch out, Joe Mamoni. Had him squared up. Kevin Knight looking good, well he was. And now this is where Bullet Club War Dogs will take over. Oh, Kevin, is it the shoes? Funny, it's gotta be the shoes. Mars Blackman would approve. Yes, yes. How about that with the assist from Kushida? And the intergalactic jet setters are rolling in Rio Goku. Power up the rocket boots. Bang! We're going to have new champs. A long way away from a save. Clark Connors was able to kick out. So. Jet zone. Jet zone. Ah. Kevin yeah. oh. Knight wanted that spike. Oh, Drilla oh, was wow. right there. Here they go. Cedar hey. out on the floor. Yeah. Fight's going to call for no clip. They are, Full clip, as, rather. they are as subtle as a sledgehammer. And now we'll put him away, but wait a minute, here comes Kushida! Ooh. Oh, the Tanaka ducked. What a power slam for Clark Connors. Quick peek over his shoulder. Looking to see if there's help on the way. That answer is no. Hangman style neck breaker. Kent Sato too. Nobody's coming in to break this up. Look how smart Renato is wrestling though. He's looking over at the corner. Is there someone coming in to make the cut? Looking at my teammates. I'm here, they're not. Yeah, he's just a different man ever since he beat Umino last week and Koroka now looking for a half. Like we talked about the subtlety and the levels. And sometimes you gotta go slow, and you go slower. Yeah, sometimes you gotta get faster when I want his horse. You get, nice. Right. You gotta get quick at times, but you cannot go 150 miles an hour all the time. You can't run on just pure adrenaline. You'll burn out. And there's nothing wrong with relying on your partners, especially in a six-man tag. So Umino, though, having to go on his own. And athleticism and drive is able to propel him to success with that drop kick. Yeah, he picks up the 7-10 split, but there's nobody in the corner for him. Well, perhaps even if Nagata was in the corner, then Umino would make the tag because he's so driven yes. by this red mist over Naruto. Fisherman yes, suplex and a kick out at two. Oh, you're exactly right, Chris. Even if Nagata was 100% standing on the apron, hand extended, Shota might blow right past him to tear into Rent Narita some more. Dog strategy, see if it pays off. Bang! Did that time. Doesn't go for a cover, instead, looks for more offense. Nothing wrong with it as it works. Two. Ah! 
Still not looking to the corner. Interesting. As they have been, as they were through the G1. Oh, watch out. Here Where's Gabe Kidd? Oh, hey. Behind. Behind. Soon as I realized Coughlin was by himself in the aisleway, my first thought was, where the hell is Gabe Kidd attacking from behind? Sheer forces in nature were Coughlin and Kidd, an independent state. Hang on, you better keep your uh, keep your water, keep your phone in your pocket, because bodies are gonna fly. Watch out, Luciano gets clipped right hand. Launching, fa launching Phantasmo into the seats. It's crazy, you know, he'll tell you. He is. Kid, another one who is beset by illness. Yeah, well, While mean, that attack on Phantasmo and Jada was going on, Hikaleo got his leg posted by Coglin. And now they're going to continue to do damage. How do you chop down a six foot nine inch giant of a man? It was one leg at a time. Not a whole lot of technique between Kidd and Coughlin. There wasn't when they won the tag team championships, the strong tag team championships, big pardon, from Bishamon back July 4th. It was just sheer brute force, sheer power. Come on, give us! And they weren't there as a team at that point in time. Since then, you, you put teamwork on top of just the viciousness of these two men. And you have an unstoppable force. Coughlin even training his eyes to resist the rake from Hikaleo. Anything. The Money City Machine Guns would be tangling with Katsuchika Okada in New Japan ring. That's what they do best. Fast break, high impact offense. Beautiful awareness, but used to tag team rather than trios wrestling. Didn't know if she was there, and it doesn't seem to matter. How goes Ishii? The guns are holding court here in Simo Hall. Perfect synchronization. Everything that oh, they want to do. Look out, look out, look out, look oh. out. Aggressive dive, crashing through the body of Kazuchika Okada is Josh Alexander. We think back to the two Multiverse United events that we had this year, Kevin, one in the spring and one in the summer. And back in March, it was a dominant performance for the New Japan Pro Wrestling boys. It was uh, capped off by Tanahashi beating Speedball Mike Bailey in the main event. And I think the Impact guys took that so much to heart. And there was such a team talk going on. And when it came to Multiverse United 2, maybe to an extent, our boys took the foot off the gas a little bit and the Impact guys were going hell for leather and really showed up. New Japan Pro Wrestling, Okada in a rare position under the gun here from the Motor City Machine Guns. And Mike Gato, that man right there. And allowing Finley to recraft Bullet Club in his own image, Bullet Club War Dogs. In his own words, he said, he never knew struggle and still he's inherited the keys to the castle. But now he has that castle. Can he defend it? Can he maintain it? Wait a second, David Finley coming out from the side. Gato came out by himself. Oh, the Bullet Club War Dogs play, but played twice tonight. No, oh, and without the bell, there could be no disqualification. They don't get up, this might not go long. David Finley ran Tamatonga out the gym in Fukuoka back in May. 
made sure he left on a stretcher. Tama said the only mistake you made was not finishing the job. And Finley said, well, you want it finished, I'll finish it. So the bell sounds and we're officially underway. The Never Open Weight Championship bout. And things are not looking good for the challenge. Oh, brutal spear. This is it all Two over already. but privilege that has gone unchecked for his entire life when it has come time over these last six months to deliver David Finley. To lose the title. Yeah, but it'd be pretty nice. Oh, man, look at that. Okay. Had the quickness on the first attempt, but not the second. What's Mike Bailey got cooking? Corner to corner. Look out! <laughs> Bailey can take his pick and he's choosing the champ cap. Ultimate weapon! Ultimate weapon! Here we go! Ultimate weapon! No! Yo, running, crashing into the ropes, causing Bailey to lose his balance. Bailey's ultimate weapon just crashed on the top corner post. Richie's can't help but smile at the insanity of it all. All right, superplex, but you always got to watch that third band. Yeah, the old Tower of Doom, it looks like this might be bad for the champion and worse for Mike Bailey. Oh, no, oh, no! But pretty good for oh. Yo to steal victory, two! Bailey rolling clear of the ring. And if Yo can shift into direct drive, then he'll be the new champion right now. Speed is the key. Hiromu fell to Bailey in this year's Best of Super Junior Tournament. It was last year. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. Everything is no. No, it's not. Yeah. Hey, hey Sonny Wizard. And who am I? It might be the sun that shines through the darkness. And now, hold on a second. Rounding body press, where's the referee? My God, thank you for Marty Asami. I never thought I would say that. No, the second time. Here One, we go. two, go. you son of a bitch. And you, Amara, is chasing Dick Togo around the ring. Dick begging off. Oh. Sonata. There's one for Sonata. And Doki launched. And now what? Exploding over the cold, broken skull and a broken dream in a broken business. The evil on top of a mountain of trash. Yep. And a 
Magic Killer. Do we have any more referees assigned? I'm, I'm not speaking what facetiously here. Uh, evil, enjoy your Tokyo Dome payoff. Sorry it'll be light. Well, Red Shoes, who is back getting attended to.